Okay, what's up everybody? I'm in my kitchen. I'm getting some of my stuff together. I was going to do a video with a flashlight that Warriorland was kind enough to send. This is the crossbow, the MA1. I have it on my SIG 320. Uh, and real quick, I wanted to go over a couple things I didn't really cover in the uh, previous one. So these are like the adapter uh, plates. Like they have a universal one. That says universal 2, universal 1. So, and then you can see they're different widths, so they fit like between your Picatinny rail, whatever kind of rail you have. And inside instructions, it actually lists all the guns and the, the number. So I forget whatever number this is, it's 4 to SIG 320. And it just makes it fit a little bit snugger. Like I said, you could take them out and put it on any kind of rail. Vice versa, you could put the universal in there, it just wouldn't be as tight. So that's kind of a nice touch. You just, there's two Phillips screws. To hold that in and then the allen keys to adjust the laser and so far from just playing with it uh it, the laser is really nice it holds adjustment but i'm going to quit talking i'm going to go out i'm going to fire several hundred rounds i'll take some videos of it i'll talk a little bit more about it and then tonight i'll go out with this setup and i'll take my glock out with the nc star and I'll go psychopath in the woods in the middle of the night with two handguns and lasers. Like, yeah, I'm, won't be awkward at all. Neighbor, what the fuck did you do in the woods last night? So, yeah, let me get quit, quit talking. Let's get to the woods right now. Okay, we are back out here at the campsite with the SIG 320 with the new Warrior Land Crossbow MA1 flashlight laser setup. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to. I'm going to try this thing out. Uh, I'm going to do a lot of shooting, probably uh, a few mag dumps. And then I'm just going to just practice here. I'm not going to really get anything on camera. I'll get a couple things on camera. And then what I'm going to do on camera, I got some targets I'll set up. And then we'll see if it, uh, if it still works. And if the laser's still on, because it's, it's sighted in pretty good right now. I was taking some practice shots. It's shooting good. So, and then after that, I'm going to work in. I'm going out tonight with this to try to flashlight out. And then I'll have my NC star on my Glock. And we will be comparing the two at night, because that's what's important with a flashlight. Like right now, I think it's just a little, oh no, let's see, they're both on. Got a full charge. So let me quit talking, and let's just get to shooting and trying this thing out here. Okay, guys and one girl, uh, back at my range here because it's a lot more shady. It's like 90 some degrees up there today. It's a little warm, not too bad, but we'll be able to see the laser better here. So I fired several hundred rounds. You can see, well, not really on camera, but she's caked on there pretty good. She's nice and uh, powder burns, carbon build up. Uh, and them glass bottles, if you've seen in the video, wherever I put them, that was towards the end. So the laser is still hitting like dead on still working great still shining bright still got full charge i didn't leave the flashlight like is it full charge i think it said it was i didn't leave the flat uh, one down one bar i didn't leave the did it say 500 lumen then okay so yeah as a as the battery goes down that's pretty cool let me try that again so as the battery goes down it actually says yeah 500 lumen huh that's pretty cool this is 800 before, right? <laughs> pretty sure. So that's pretty cool. So as the battery goes down, it tells you it's 500 lumen. That's awesome. So I was using the laser a lot. 
And then, so let's put the, just the laser back on and we'll shoot some targets here to see if she's still shooting good. Okay, I have no idea why I thought green, yeah, you can barely see it there, why green food dye would be a good choice for a green laser. Can you guys, yeah, okay, so let's do this here. Yep. Ah. Okay, very good. I had it sighted in. I was pretty close. It was hitting low, which was the last one. I think this was the last one. I was pretty close. I was like three times the distance, so adjusting it a little bit more. But yeah, it all worked pretty good there. So we'll take it out at nighttime and see what the flashlight does. Okay, now we're going to be testing out the flashlight. This is the NC Star behind my house at the shooting range here. You can see it works pretty good. Uh, no real complaints there, you know. Uh, and then the next one up is going to be the Warrior Land crossbow. In my opinion, you can see, okay, there we go. It's, uh, it's a lot brighter, in my opinion. It has a good flood and a good zoom in, or a good flood and spot at the same time. Kind of shines a little bit more. And then this is the pond. Uh, let's see, okay, there's NC Star. You know, it works good. And then you can see it has a nice kind of flood and spot to it, too, here. It's kind of zooming around. You can see the laser. It works good. You can still see the laser. Hold a tight pattern. And then here is the Warrior Land crossbow. So you can see it's just, I think it's just a little bit better. Of course, I think with the NC Star, you might be able to see the laser through the light better. But very good flashlight, in my opinion, for your price. Check them out, warriorland.net.